Okay, so we have covered the first section of the prerequisite knowledge required to proceed ahead with the, um, with the discussion of our main topic, which is computer architecture. The second section of prerequisite knowledge, which is combinational and sequential circuits, will be discussed later when needed. So what we are going to start now is the RISC-5 assembly programming. And that is a part of our main uh, contents. I have covered the couple of slides, uh, which I'm going to cover now. I have covered that already in the introduction uh, lecture, the first lecture. But I'm going to do that again as a quick recap. So to command a computer, we need to speak its language in the form of instructions. And the group of instructions is generally referred as computer vocab. Different computers have different instruction sets, but with many aspects in common. So no matter if you're using like um, Mac, Intel, AMD, or any other processor that you're using, they may have many aspects in common. Sorry about that. Uh, but early computers used to have very simple instruction sets to for, for simplified implementations, even though many modern computers also have simple instruction sets. And to begin with the discussion, the first thing is the easiest thing that we can discuss is the arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction. So the format of arithmetic operation is that it has two, three operands. The first being the destination variable, and the remaining two are the main operands among which the operation is performed, the actual operation, either addition, subtraction, or multiplication. So here, B plus C, the result contents of B plus C, B and C are added and stored in the um, destination value variable, which is A. And it leads us to uh, discuss the first principle, the design principle, which says simplicity favors regularity. We need to keep the format of all arithmetic operations same in order to make our hardware as simpler as possible. So no matter if you have a complex instruction like this, B plus C plus D plus E, it is split into multiple instructions by the compiler. So what you write in C language or Python as a long instruction, it is um, split down to multiple um, assembly instructions by the compiler. So here, uh, this is how it is split. So B plus C are added into A. Now A contains the results of B and C, which can be added to D and updated in the same variable A. And then the finally A is added to E and the, store, the values are stored in A again. So this is how a long instruction is split into multiple instruction. Again, RISC-5 processor or any other processor execute one instruction at a time, one operation at a time. So it can perform one addition based on this format. It can only perform one addition between two operands. Okay, if you have multiple operands, it has to be split down into multiple instructions. Okay, we also discussed this, uh, a simple instruction, a little bit complex, G plus H minus I plus J. So compiler is five code would be, it will store the results, which is into a temporary variable first for the addition. So G plus H are added and stored in T0. And similarly, I and J are added and stored in T1. And then finally, the results are subtracted. So here, T1 is being subtracted from T0. So subtrahend is T1 here. So T0 minus T1, and the results are stored in F. Okay? 